Somebody sent me this to react to. I think he's about to make an apple bowl. I... Okay. I never did it like that. Oh. That's gonna mess up the airflow. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's gonna make like a bubbler. An apple bong. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. For percolate for percolation. Oh, he gonna eat it? You gonna do all this extra shit just for it to taste like apple? Come on, bro. I mean I guess I wasn't wrong. It is an apple bowl. <laughs> Alright. Unconscious standard practice in your life. I'll go first. Bullshit. I gotta fucking try this. Got the garlic, the bowl, the eggs. Nice. Okay, I'm rubbing my fingers on the garlic. This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> this is not working. I'm literally trying my best and like there's no way I can grip this without breaking it. This is fake, but I think I know how they did it. You got to separate the yolk from the whites first, then throw the yolk back on top of the whites so it looks like they're not, uh, like they're still together, but they're not. Yeah, get all the white off. Okay, let's try this again. Garlic rub rub rub. I'm going for it, going for it. <gasps> yep, there we go. So squishy. <laughs> The title of this video is Cleaning My Boyfriend's Keyboard. Now as a half Arab, I understand the concept of hairy knuckles, but there is no way, there is no way your boyfriend created this on his own. Question, does your boyfriend have paws every day of the month or only on nights of the full moon? Hear me out, dude. If you could combine any two animals, dude, what animals would you mix, dude? My perfect mixture, dude, would be a porcupine and a giant squid, dude. That way you can get the pokey of the porcupine and the inky of the squid to create a living tattoo machine, dude. Hear me out, dude. I think that there is a waffle conspiracy going on, dude. I don't think that the United States invented waffles like they said, and I don't even think it was Belgians, dude. You know who I think invented waffles? Scottish people. Because who else would get a pancake and say, you know what, dude? How sick would it be if we made this pancake plaid, dude? It had to be the Scottish people, dude. Hear me out, dude. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. I'll do one of his. If your man asks you for a winter jacket, then you're not doing enough to keep him inside the house. Maybe if you took him to Burlington Throat Factory once in a while, he wouldn't be so worried about being cold. What is something that you went viral for that you did not mean to go viral? I pissed off the entire country of Scotland. The first video I had that popped off on this app had, it got like 100,000 views and I'm pretty sure all of them were in Scotland. The video was just me with a uh, flannel around my waist and I had a little satchel to try to make it look like a kilt and I was doing that one trend. Day one wearing a kilt, day two wearing a kilt, day three wearing a kilt. As the video progressed, the accent got deeper. I didn't intend for it to be offensive. This is just how I thought they sounded. It seemed like every other comment was a threat. People were like, in my messages, like, we better not catch you in Scotland. Here's the thing, you won't. I knew it was bad when somebody tried to video chat with me on Instagram, and uh, I pick it up, because why the fuck not? And I pick up, this dude starts screaming at me. He's like, I saw what you posted on TikTok where it don't sound like that. And I'm like, here's the thing, you do. No, we don't. You do. It started with the hay, laughed a creek and well, it just started in the hay. With his long johns on pop went a creeping up to the bottom to the hay. Being mixed is so weird because there's so much pressure on who you breed with. Like, both sides of my family are trying to see, like, which one's gonna win. And it's scary because if you're mixed and you don't choose your black side, you are doomed to make a corny-ass kid. A little quarter black motherfucker running around here with straight hair and blue eyes talking about, I can say it, my dad's black, I can say it. <laughs> and to my future kid, if you were seeing this and your mom is not black, uh... 
Don't say that because somebody's going to beat your ass. And as a father, I'm going to feel really bad when I got to help them jump you. But it's not just the black side. It's the Arab side, too. Because if my kid's not fucking with shawarma and kafta and kushik and shit, then like... What am I going to talk to him about, bro? Like, if he doesn't have the tongue for baklava, I, I, well, I'm not going to hang out with that motherfucker. If he, God forbid, he gets a pistachio allergy. Oh my God, how are you such a good driver? Because there's illegal shit in here. <laughs> because if I don't use my turn signal, we're both going to do 15. Because I'm going to lie and say it's yours. Put your seatbelt on, sweetheart. You are not safe. Why can't little Nas give a lap dance to Satan? Where in the Bible does it say you can only throw it back on the Lord? I'll wait. Also, hypothetically, if God sent you from heaven to hell, but the way he sent you down there was by forcing you to slide down a 20-mile long pole, you're telling me you're not going to do any tricks on the way down? Look, I'm not a pole dancer or anything, but if I had to slide down a pole that long, I guarantee you by the time I hit the bottom, I would be a fucking professional. The power in my house has been out for two hours. My phone's on 7%, and this girl just texted me like, I miss you. <laughs> oh, you miss me? Uh, yeah, you miss me with that bullshit. I'm not, you think I'm about to use my last 7% on you? I'm gonna use two of my last 7% to talk shit about you in this TikTok that I'm filming right now. I'm gonna use my last five to look at videos until I fall asleep. If the power comes back on, maybe I will deal with this shit in the morning. But if it does not, then this will be my last video. Hmm, this dude got a flounder. About to make some sushi. What the f Oh my god. That was fucking scary. Oh my Jesus. Oh, why is he? Oh, he's a monster, dude. This is the hash slinging slasher. This is who SpongeBob was worried about. This is some scary shit. It looks delicious, though. I'd eat that. Why the fuck are people paying? To have pole dancing classes like, bro, go to the strip club. Motherfuckers will pay you to watch you figure that shit out. What are you doing? I swear, middle class white women don't got no business mindset. That's why y'all fall for pyramid schemes and fucking pole dancing classes, bitch. I would never have a three-way, bitch. What the fuck? You think I'm about to be naked and outnumbered? That's how you get robbed. I'm from the streets, baby. I know better. This bitch gonna tell me, oh, you don't need to put your balls in the condom, too. Do you have a dick? Exactly. Shut the fuck up. Stop fucking worrying about what I'm doing, bitch. Leggings are for legs. You tuck your gut in that motherfucker, too. Don't worry about it. I really be acting like I belong to the streets. I don't leave my house. I belong to the driveway at best. Maybe the sidewalk, but certainly not the streets. POV, it's 2019, you're pledging at a frat, they bring you in and tell you you have to clean up the party that they had yesterday. What they didn't tell you is that they invited Caitlyn Ben- Can I borrow somebody's cooter for science? It's not what you think, I just want to put helium up there to see if it make the queefs higher pitched. Uh, this is for science. Let's be real, if you are only selling Mary Jane, you are not a drug dealer. You are a florist. You give people beautiful bouquets of flowers in Ziploc sandwich bags. Oh shit, her hair kinda long. Her hair kinda long. Hey yo, who your moms, dude? Who's your, is this your mom? You sure your mom ain't going freaks? When I was in middle school, hex bugs were very popular. One time I brought one to school and the teacher came over and she was like, what are you guys playing with? I'm like, it's a hex bug. Look, it just scoots around the table. They all just crawl around. She said, how does it work? And then she picks it up and she feels it just vibrating in her hand. She said, I'm gonna need to confiscate this immediately. And I'm like, why? It's not hurting anybody, it's a hex bug. She calls my mom in front of me and says, Mrs. Fields, I'm gonna need you to go in your room and check your top drawer because I think your son may have stolen a certain item from it. And I'm like, why the fuck would my mom have a hex bug? I don't know what my mom said on the other end of the phone, but she followed up with, your son has brought a vibrator into my class. And I'm 11, so I'm like, yeah, it vibrates. That's how it moves. Also, I'm 11. Can I please have that back? She, no, she didn't give it back, but she had a better mood for the rest of the school year.
I'm going to tell you why that's false. There is no way. There is no way that monkey pussy is that good that aliens got in a spaceship, flew across the universe to go clap cheeks, and we don't. We are not clapping monkey cheeks right now. Uh, the only guy who clapped monkey cheeks got AIDS. <gasps> what if there's no aliens because they got AIDS from clapping monkey cheeks? Damn, did I just come across a new conspiracy? My second point is there's way sexier animals. I feel like if aliens came to this planet to smash animals, they would probably go with like the parakeets. Those are a penguin. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not a bird guy. I'm just saying like, I'm just saying. If you're my girl and my ass is fatter than yours, you better lower your tone when you're talking to me because I will. Throw this shit back on another bitch in a second. I am cheeked up, so act like it's sweetheart. Sweetheart! Bella Porch said this ain't Build-A-Bitch. You don't get to pick and choose. Different ass and different boobs. If my eyes are brown or blue. If it was Build-A-Bitch, what do you... Why would I be worried about your boobs? If I could build a bitch... <laughs> if I could build a bitch... Uh, wings. Shark arms. Um, left butt cheek opens up. It's a mini fridge full of only lemoncello LaCroix all the time. Never, never runs out. Um, I don't know. Maybe nice to me. That, uh, that'd be a good feature. What you really is, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Yesterday I made a video about this thing and why I cut them so turtles don't choke and die. I'm starting to feel not so bad for the turtles. For one, when they choke on these, it's not because they're eating them and they get caught in their stupid turtle throats. It's because they decide to wear it like jewelry. We all know that these turtles are choking to death and it's our fault. But when are we going to put a little bit of accountability on these turtles? Does anyone think it's a coincidence that every turtle that was found choked to death with one of these things around their neck was butt naked? If you ask me, I think it's autoerotic asphyxiation. I think they're doing it to themselves. They're too kinky for their own good, and they're dying because of it. When my uncle was found dead in his garage with a belt around his neck and his balls out, we didn't start a campaign saying you need to loosen up your belts and put them in a safe place. No, we didn't, because he was a pervert, and these turtles are perverts. Don't think that because I'm sensitive, I won't beat your ass. Uh, quite the contrary. I will fuck you up and then cry about it later. I might break out into tears while I'm beating your ass. Oh, why the fuck you making me beat your ass, bitch? I'll beat your ass for that. Yeah, white people can't say the N-word, but they can say all types of shit. Black people can't say, like, okie dokie and fuck you, mom, you fucking bitch. <laughs> If you're an adult and you can't swim, I deserve to bully the shit out of you. I deserve to bully you relentlessly. There's no reason that a pool should be able to take you out of the game if you're 26. That is fucking ridiculous. You are an adult. You see a puddle and you flinch because you don't know how deep it is for a second. What? I'm not gonna cap to y'all. I wash my ass with traditionally feminine soaps. This, that My nuts smell like strawberry pound cake right now. They smell like strawberry pound cake, and I don't feel bad about it because what are my options with the dude soaps? This is a dude soap right here. Do you know what scent this is? Cool Blast. The fuck does a cool blast smell like? The fuck is a cool blast? That's just cold air. That don't smell like nothing. I can't identify it. What are my other options as a dude for soap smell? Sport? I want to smell like sport? Fuck out of here. I wash my ass with traditionally feminine soaps. That's that, my nuts. And I would eat the fuck out of it. Do you remember when I told you about my foot fetish? Yeah, that shit was mad weird, bruh. Well, it... It has evolved. Now I have a foot fetish, but only for animals with four legs. Hey, yo, pause, bro. Uh, pause. What the fuck? I meant pause like stop, bro. This behooves me. Hooves. Oh, you don't know what you're doing to me.
Yesterday, I made a video where I said, real G's move in silence like lasagna, but the G in lasagna isn't silent. It makes it sound like nya. So when the real G's move, they sound like nya. And everybody was in the comments like, oh, that's what an anime girl, that sounds like an anime girl. And I didn't realize until now, real G's do go nya when they move, like the original G's, like the OG OGs like the old Italian mafia motherfuckers were like run me my money yeah see yeah yeah is the G in lasagna little Wayne is the goat hi welcome to Walmart do you need any help finding anything yeah I was actually looking for a wife beater do you know where I can find one come here come here what's up you looking for a wife beater I'll beat that bitch ass for like $45 whoa bro I'm looking for a shirt I'll put that bitch on a shirt for $67. Bro, I just want some tank tops for the summertime. All right, man, you sure you don't want my card? No! Hey, wait, you have cards? One of the weirdest parts about being a guy best friend is getting excited for your female friends when they get laid. Wait, so what did you guys end up doing last night? You went back to his place? You got laid? You got laid? Look at you, look at you, you little you little meat magnet. If it gets any easier for you to find pipe, you might have to be a Super Mario brother. Hey, hey, hey. But I'm proud of you, though. I'm proud of you. You a hoe. But, like, in the best way. Like, I'm, I support you. Like, keep doing it. You... Alright. What the fuck is that? Yo! Stretched her out. Can't relate. What we got here? Yo, no, they did not combine a dilly-dally with a men in black memory eraser. They out here deleting bodies with laser beams. Did Hot Girl Summer even happen? Gorilla Grip Mode activate! Every week, I check my bank account, and I think the same thing. Why the fuck is this so low? Did I get robbed? And then I check the transaction history to see who robbed me, and all I see is stuff that I bought. This shit is pain. Yeah, this is wheelchair accessible, a 45 degree angle. You would have to have a horse drawn wheelchair to get to the top of that. And can you imagine seeing all the people coming down this? I'm surprised there's not a hole in the fucking wall. Hear me out, dude. I've never been to jail before, dude. But one time I was clapping shorty from the back and mid stroke, no cop, dude. She started freestyle rapping, dude. So yeah, I haven't been to jail, but I know what it feels like to be behind bars, dude. This is my foot. Y'all are some hoes. Okay, so I got a pedicure for the first time yesterday, and I posted a little bit on this uh, this app we call TikTok, and every single comment came from my neck. I get it. I have a size 15 shoe. You, Somebody said that I don't have toes. I have fingers and that I don't walk around. I just play patty cake with the floor. And then they reported my video and took it down because of dangerous acts on behalf of the little Filipino woman who was giving me my pedicure. Why is this ab so mean? This is my foot. Y'all are some hoes. Okay, so I got a pedicure for the first time yesterday, and I posted a little bit on this uh, this app we call TikTok, and every single comment came from my neck. I get it. I have a size 15 shoe. You, Somebody said that I don't have toes, I have fingers, and that I don't walk around, I just play patty cake with the floor. And then... They reported my video and took it down because of dangerous acts on behalf of the little Filipino woman who was giving me my pedicure. Why is this ab so mean? My parents have been in a loveless relationship for 24 years. I've never seen them do any activities together. I've never seen them go on any dates. And I've never even seen my parents kiss each other but one time and it was out of spite to make me feel weird. Now, this is all changing because they got a 
Costco membership. Now my dad is coming home and he's just like, hey, I think I'm gonna go to Costco later. Do you wanna come? And then my mom will be like, you going to Costco? Hold on, let me, let me do my hair first. It's so cute. They're saving them because they're both so fucking cheap. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to escape this big foot shit. Look at this. I can't even use Tinder anymore, bro. Look, homegirl said, I feel like you got skis for feet. I'm trying to figure out how this disrespect has crossed platforms. And she's like, imagine waking up and the first thing you see on your For You page are those Grinch feet. Yeah, imagine just waking up and then the first thing you see are my Grinch feet. You don't have to wake up and see those every day. Here's another one. This one was completely unprompted. Bro, your foot big as hell. You want to fight? Nah, one kick will send me to the fucking stratosphere. I know my limits. I did not respond. Ah! If you think that it's okay to surgically implant a second penis onto your body, well then, you got another thing coming, bro. Hi, this is my croc. I was really excited to get this croc because I didn't know that they made them in my size. And I made a video on TikTok with me wearing this croc and somebody in the comments said, oh hell no, nah, bro, that croc is way too big to abbreviate. You're gonna have to call them the whole crocodiles. Why can't I just have fun and be fashionable like all the other boys? TikTok done dropped the privilege filter, boy. I'm finna start catfishing these hoes with melanin. I swear to God, I can't wait to try a white bitch that don't smell like Newports. When I first saw this, I said to myself, Demetrius, the fuck you gonna do with five white bitches? But then I sat down and I pondered the idea for a while. And then I thought to myself, Demetrius, the fuck you gonna do with five white bitches? Not shit. They gonna outvote you on the music you listen to in the car and make you listen to fucking Olivia Rodrigo albums all goddamn day and cry about all of their exes who are actually the same people because all their stories are boring. PS5. Unless they can turn into a white bitch Voltron by morphing together. All five white bitches in a giant white bitch robot. Call it Karen Tron. They can go into any Applebee's and get all of their meals comped for free by complaining.